Kia ora, welcome to Bahai On Air. I'm Bev Watson. This episode features this year's Race Unity Speech Award, a competition organised every year by the New Zealand Baha'i community and strongly supported by the New Zealand Police, the Human Rights Commission and the Office of Ethnic Affairs. The theme of both events was Diversity in the Human Family. This was chosen to work in with the theme selected by the Human Rights Commission this year for Race Relations Day. It's about us, Fano. It also works in with a quotation from the Baha'i Holy Writings, Diversity in the human family should be the cause of love and harmony, as it is in music, where many different notes blend together in the making of a perfect chord. From an original pool of about 150 or 160 students from throughout New Zealand, 25 were selected to take part in three national semi-finals on Friday night. From these 25 students, seven were selected to go forward to the national finals. The venue for the finals of the Race Unity Speech Award and the Race Unity Conference was the Auckland Baha'i Community Centre in Glen Innes. The MC for our conference this year was Nico Teo, a young Baha'i from Whangarei Baha'i Community. The conference is comprised of two keynote speakers and a series of workshops which take us through to the finals of the Speech Award each year. Our first speaker this year was Rehan Mangdana. As the winner of last year's competition, he was the first keynote speaker who opened the conference. The deterioration in whānau and of society can have terrible effects upon the youth. If youth don't find a secure family environment at home, some may seek it elsewhere, and in more extreme cases this can lead to youths enrolling in gangs. Sadly, it's all too easy to turn the other way and say, it's not my problem. It is. It's your problem, my problem, our problem. Our second keynote speaker was Nura Taifi. Nura is a member of the New Zealand Baha'i community. She is Iranian by descent and a practicing lawyer. With the advent of globalization, for the first time in history, it has become possible for the human race to perceive our independence and to become conscious of our wholeness at the same time. Baha'u'llah, who was the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith, said, so powerful is the light of unity that it can envelop the whole earth. The theme of the Race Unity Conference this year was diversity in the human family. There were four workshops during the course of the conference. quick snapshot of all seven finalists. Megan Lee from Maclean's College in Auckland. The state of race relations in the 21st century. The diversity in the human family should be the cause of love and unity. But in Rachita Castellino from Baradine College in Auckland. Yet capable of being played side by side in complete harmony together. Aparahama Hurahanganui from Rotoroa Boys High School. Hey Papa, e Kaur, McLean's College, Auckland. Unity in the human family should be the cause of love and harmony, as it is in music, where many different notes blend together in the making of a perfect chord. Mindy Hughes, Children St James in Wellington. Diversity, family and harmony. We are collectively of diverse cultures and ethnicities. Maria Edwards, St Joseph's Māori Girls College in Napier. An increasing number of people are coming to see themselves as members of one family in an interdependent universe. Claire Gawley from Bethlehem College in Tauranga. Race and culture explodes our environment to create a fabulous diversity. The Race Relations Commissioner, Joris de Brees, was invited to the stage to say a few words. Can I just say that um, the Human Rights Commission is really proud to have now a 10-year uh, association with the uh, Baha'i community of New Zealand uh, in promoting the Race Unity Speech Awards. And every year, I think, we see another step up in the quality... Sorry, Ray, Ray Hun, you know, it was good last year, but every year we see another step up in the quality of the speeches. Commissioner Karen Johansson from the Human Rights Commission was the chief judge of the judging panel. She was the one who announced the prize winners. We have been thrilled with the way in which each and every one of you delivered your speeches tonight. Your orators, excellent pace, lovely manner on the stage, strong voices which you knew how to modulate. 
lovely personal stories linked with the, the higher level, more abstract uh, ideas which you were conveying. And the big moment finally arrived when the announcement of the winners was made and the presentation of the prizes took place. Our runner-up for this evening is Mindy Hu. And our winner is our Pirahama Hurihanganui. We hope you enjoyed hearing these speeches from these wonderful young students. Join us again next time. Ka kite.